I'm going to smell it here, just see if I can... There we go, I've absorbed all 3,000 problems. I am now a physics master. <laughs> physics is one of the hardest subjects for people to learn on their own. My experience with physics was a really dark one. I felt lost, I felt confused, and I felt like everyone else was getting it except me. If you have that feeling in this video, hopefully I can help you because I'm going to give you some suggestions for books that you can use to learn physics on your own. With these books and a good study schedule, you can actually buy one of these books, sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil, and learn physics. Now, some of these books do require some prereq knowledge, like calculus, but some of them actually don't require calculus, which is pretty cool. At the same time, if you don't know calculus, it's definitely worth trying to learn some calculus so you can learn calculus-based physics, like what's covered in this book here. This is Physics by Giancoli, and if you're gonna get one of these books, Get this one, this one is excellent. I will try to leave links to all of these books in the description, and if I can find like used copies, I'll try to leave links uh, to those as well. But this is a super thick book that's got tons of content. Let's take a really, really quick look at this wonderful book. I will just show you the contents. So this book is perfect for anyone who wants to learn physics. If you are a college student and you are taking physics in college, then this is something that you can use as a supplement to your course. So you could buy this book, you could focus obviously on your assignments, and then use this book as a supplement. You can get extra practice problems, and it covers a lot. You can see it pretty much covers everything you would learn in a physics sequence, right? So you could take a few classes on physics using this book. And this book is actually used today. So this is a book that is used today in colleges to teach physics to college students, so it's gonna have everything you need. This copy, by the way, now I don't know how much this cost, but I got my copy really cheap because it was used, so again, used is the way to go if you can find it used, but honestly, if you have to get it new, I think it's still worth it because you get so much knowledge in a book like this. It's really incredible. This is going to sound ridiculous, but I'm just going to say it. Even the fact it has answers just to the odd-numbered problems is a reason enough to buy it. So physics, like math, is a really hard subject, and it's really hard to find a book that has like full solutions to every problem. It's just like almost not possible. There are some out there, but the exercises aren't that good, and they're just not, they're just not what you really need in order to start from the beginning. Whereas this, you can use this to start from the beginning, and it's got all of these answers to the odd-numbered problems, so you can work through these sections, and then you can work through the exercises and do the odd problems and look in the back of the book to check your answer. One of the things I like about this book is the layout. It's got a lot of examples and it reads really well. Other people have also been talking about this book in the comments. In fact, just yesterday, someone left a comment about the Giancoli book and that's why I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make this video just so I can talk about this book. But we still have to talk about all these other books and they're all pretty awesome, so let's take a look at some of these other physics books. Modern physics, I actually took a course in college on modern physics and I got an A, I was very, very happy. I got B's in physics one and two, it was a real struggle. And modern physics is cool. So this is the Shams outline, so if you've never heard of Shams, basically uh, how this book works is it's got, you know, some knowledge, it'll have like an introduction, maybe some definitions and an explanation. Here it talks about time dilation, that is really cool. Yeah, and then it's got solve problems, right? So you've got exercises with solutions that you can do for practice, and then this one also has supplementary problems. And then it goes to the next chapter, so it's very, very simple. So this is typically studied, uh, modern physics, in a course called Physics 3 in college. So you would learn Physics 1, Physics 2, and then Physics 3 is typically modern physics. When I took uh, modern physics, it was actually called Physics 3. And the book we used was a modern physics book, which ironically, I did not include here in the pile because I could not find it. But it's a good book. But so is this one. Again, this is the Shams on modern physics. Here's one I talked about in a video I made. It's called Fundamentals of Physics, and this is the one by Holiday, Resnick, and Walker. This is a pretty good book. One complaint that I've heard from some people about this book is that there are better books that have more content. For example, the Giancoli book is gonna have a lot more material than this one. But this book is a classic. It has been around for an eternity. I have like three different versions of this book. Notice that this is volume one, so it's going to contain significantly less content than the Giancoli book here. But again, this is just another excellent book for learning physics. I do think that 
everyone should own you know all of these books because they're all excellent and this one again is considered a classic. This book is completely insane. These are the Feynman Lectures on Physics, and this is volume one. So the big problem with this book is that it has no exercises. So you do need another book like the Giancoli book or the Holiday and Resnick and Walker book that has exercises so that you can practice and hone your skills. But the explanations in this book are really good because they are the explanations of the legendary Nobel Prize winner, Richard Feynman. So if you don't know, uh, there are multiple volumes. This is volume one. I don't own the other ones. Um, you can get this as a boxed set, which is really nice, and I'll leave that uh, link in the description. This is something I think that every serious physics person should read just to get a take of how Feynman thinks about physics, how he describes things. It's, it's really interesting. I'm a big fan of Feynman. I watch all of his YouTube videos. I think he was a very interesting guy. And this book, by the way, is based off the lectures that he gave... Uh, in the 60s at uh, Caltech, so yeah, pretty cool. Awesome book, The Feynman Lectures on Physics. This is the Shams on Applied Physics, and I threw this one in here because it's a fun book. It starts from the beginning, it starts easy, and whenever books start with really easy stuff, it kind of motivates you to keep going. Let me show you some of the easy stuff it starts with, so it'll make you feel good because it'll make you feel smart. Look, useful math, right? Look at that. Really basic, algebra, equations, exponents, Vectors, I mean, that's pretty easy. Most people know the Pythagorean theorem. I mean, that's really common. Motion in a straight line. So very, very basic. It gets you going. You know, it gets you used to studying. And I think it's a really, really good book uh, to sit down and just work through. Just like the other Shams, you know, it's got some useful math and it's got some solved problems. So right away, you're jumping into the mathematics. Um, there's no fluff, right? You can sit down for half an hour to an hour with one of these books like this one, and learn some actual physics. This one is really good. This is the Shams for physics, for engineering and science. I think this one is a little bit better than the other one. Um, let me just show you the contents really quickly so you can see some of the stuff in here. It's got quantum mechanics, it's got nuclear physics, special relativity, diffraction, electromagnetic waves. I mean, just all kinds of physics. Tons of stuff, I use this one when I was a physics student, I tried to use it as a reference to help me, and I think it helped me pretty well. My biggest problem with physics when I was a student, my biggest struggle, it was that I was learning calculus at the same time, and it was a nightmare. It was so hard. That's why I say if you don't know calculus, sure, I have some examples of physics books, which I've yet to show you, that don't require calculus, but it's better to know calculus, I think, because it gives you a better understanding and you can really understand some of the formulas and it's really, really cool. The best way to learn is by doing, and that is the philosophy of this book here. This is 3,000 solved problems in physics, and so what do you get? You get 3,000 solved problems in physics. This is great for someone who wants to like do a lot of problems or is studying for like some type of exam. It's a solid book. The bad part about this book, and this is the bad part about all of these books, and about learning anything really, is that it takes effort, so even though you know, you can go buy this book and it gives you 3,000 solved problems in physics. You can't like magically connect your brain to the book and absorb it. I'm gonna smell it here, just see if I can. There we go, I've absorbed all 3,000 problems. I am now a physics master. This is what you wanna get if you don't know calculus. This is college physics. So this is a little bit different than the other ones. So you can actually jump into this book right away and start learning physics. And you can learn pretty much a lot of physics. Let me just show you the topics here so, so you see what you can get. It starts with like motion, so like speed, displacement, velocity, uniformly accelerated motion, Newton's laws, cool. Work, energy, and power. Simple machines. Yeah, tons of stuff in this book. So tons of actual physics and you don't need calculus to get started with this book. You can start this book and, and work through it without having uh, any calculus, but again, I definitely recommend calculus, know some calculus, it really helps. In college, like in actual college, people who take this class are people who are not um, STEM majors. STEM stands for, if you don't know, I'm sure you do, but I'll tell you, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So people who are not in those fields typically take, or sometimes have to take, a course on college physics. And so this would be a good supplement to a course like that. But the trick here is to use this as a book for self-study. You can go out and buy this and it's super cheap because it's a Shams and you can sit down and learn physics without knowing any calculus. And I think that is awesome. Definitely for beginners, conceptual physics, 
This is probably the easiest book out of all the ones I've shown you in this video and out of all the ones I'm going to show you, but I don't think it's the best one. I like the Giancoli book better. Also, the one I'm gonna show you in a minute is also really good. And the reason I say that is because I feel like this lacks content and also it doesn't have calculus. But, but if you are a person and you just don't know a lot of math and you want to learn physics, then you can do that, right? You can do that with a book like this, it's possible. And if you look at the content of this book, I'll just show you really quickly because it's pretty much the same as most of the other books. You know, all of these books are intro to physics books. So which one you get really, I think, is just dependent on which ones you can afford. That's typically how I have always done uh, my shopping for math books and physics books and chemistry books and all the other types of you know, finance books that I collect because I am a book collector. Yeah, tons of physics in this book. It's got good examples, good explanations, but again, it's really, really for beginners. If you can get it at a good price, get it. I will try to find it for you and see what I can do. The good news about this book is you can use it for the full physics sequence. So if you're gonna go to college and take physics one, two, and three, this covers all three. This is the extended version with modern physics. It's physics by Young. This is a, a textbook. It's a solid textbook. It's got exercises. It has answers. Let me just show you the answers in the back of the book. It's got answers to, way back here, to the odd numbered exercises in the back, if we can get to them. And it's just answers, right? You're not gonna get much more than that, but you see you've got answers here in the back, which again, in my opinion, these books are worth buying simply for the answers to the odd numbered exercises. It's kind of crazy, right? But you also get the exercises, so you can, you can like read through it, sit down, and then you know do some problems, and then check your work. Solid book, look how it lays flat. Look at that, look at that. Ah, oh, I gotta sniff it, this is just, just amazing. Oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, th so this is a book that you should buy. This, this one, let me show you the other one I really recommend. You should at least get one of the big thick ones because these thick ones, I'm sorry Feynman, you're not gonna make the cut. These thick ones have more content. So these two books here, these two books here, tons of content, right? The Giancoli Physics and uh, this one here that has the extended um, version with modern physics. Both of these books are incredible. So those are some books that you can use to get started with physics. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if you have any advice for people on books that they can use to get started with physics, please leave a comment in the comment section below. People do read the comments. And so when you leave comments, especially constructive ones that help other people, it's really good, right? It's really good because people read the comments, you know, they come on the channel for help. They're trying to learn. Maybe they're struggling. Maybe they just failed their test or maybe they just wanna learn some physics or some math. And I really think it's good when you leave good comments because yeah, it helps people. It's good to help people. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck and take care. Oh, and I forgot to say, if you are not a subscriber, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care.